we talk about food and and fast food and food labeling, and there was a forty million dollar nutritional project uh, uh, put out there, and it, it, it talks about food labeling. It's, it, it, when you really boil it down, it talks about fat free and low fat foods. And we're to talk to our health expert Judy Gaiman. Uh, Judy, why should we run as fast as we possibly can away from foods labeled fat free or low fat? Well, this is something that doctors have been preaching for a long time, so I'm glad to see this million-dollar project come out, $40 million project come out. Basically, what's happening is they, they use these terms, low-fat, um, even sometimes we'll see whole grain, but they're so misleading. I'll give you an example. Some of these yogurts that say low-fat, organic, raspberry, peach, apricot yogurts, they don't even have enough fruit in them to color them, so they're having to add different things, so they're having to have additives to them. This is kind of what this story is all about, is what is it that we're putting in our mouth, and is it really what we think it is? So essentially what they're doing, Judy, is replacing the fat with just a bunch of other junk that we don't need, uh, primarily uh, tons and tons of sugar to make it taste good. That's right. So it's sugar. Um, a lot of times, you know, they're putting in carbs or they're putting in these sugar alcohols. And people may think, oh, well, sugar alcohol, like sorbitol, those things aren't so bad for you. Well, you know, everything in moderation because those things can actually give you a GI upset. Really? Yeah. And uh, they're in gum. They're in uh, almost everything you're going to see. It's going to say low sugar, no sugar, or it's going to say low fat. You just stay away from it. It's really a marketing tool. The thing I always thought about the low-fat and fat-free labeled uh, food items were that you felt a false sense of security, and you ended up eating more of the low-fat or fat-free product, and it ended up kind of being a wash. You ended up breaking even, essentially. Well, that's right. It's kind of like the whole Big Mac Diet Coke theory. You think right. one cancels out the other, and it doesn't really work. So just because something says it's low fat or low sugar doesn't mean you can have more of it. Matter of fact, it's probably worse for, for you than the regular stuff. Right. Well, my personal favorite is the all natural, which is not even defined by the FDA. Yeah, what exactly is <laughs> is all natural? Uh, it's a great question. We're speaking with health, health expert Judy Gaiman talking about misleading food labels. You mentioned the yogurt, the fat-free yogurt. What are some other other uh, food sectors or food options that uh, are uh, sort of red flagged on this story? Well, you know, we can see like in condiments, that's a big problem. Uh, a lot of times you'll see a you know, fat-free mayonnaise. You know, you've got to look at the sodium content. You've got to look at what they're putting in to replace it. It just goes back to things like soda, bread, pastas, all of this stuff. Is, is just not good for us, but we think it is. All the, all the stuff I, I like to eat. Thanks, Judy, for making time for us this morning. It's Judy Gaiman, health expert.